Going live here. We want to welcome everybody to I Ski with Frankie Z. It's me, Frankie Z, bringing you the top stories and local news. Flagstaff cancels 2021 Blues and Beer Festival. Number two, our top news story Dogecoin on fire with stocks that we're watching one's a vegan stock third top story of the day mother's day weekend are you ready for it people are skiing and guess where u.s ski team is training in mammoth our music list and the top song on the list is from the movie matrix at the end of your life I guarantee you won't be thinking about the times you played it safe. Okay, it's happening again. We're going live here. We want to welcome everybody to I Ski with Frankie Z, bringing you the top stories. Here in local news, Flagstaff cancels 2021 Blues and Beer Festival. I hate to bring you the bad news. Number two, our top news story. Dogecoin is on fire. We have a couple other stocks that we're watching. One's a vegan stock for you folks out there that are vegan. Third top story of the day. Mother's Day weekend. Are you ready for it? People are skiing. And guess where? U.S. ski team is training in Mammoth. And lastly, we have our music list. And the top song on the list is from the movie Matrix. So let's dive right into it here. Flagstaff cancels the 2021 Blues Festival. So this is two years in a row. They went six years with a Blues Festival that was hugely successful up there. But let, let's just give some parameters here that this thing's operating under i mean it could only succeed blues festival on i-40 which is the old route 66 i-17 go through phoenix when this blues festival is going off in northern arizona which is about 75 to 85 degrees maybe and it's okay on the way to the grand canyon in the middle of summer can you imagine all those factors so when the planners that made this thing happen and i think if you go to flagstaffblues.com it will give you the 411 because right now i'm on the website and it's talking about here's what they have for lineup here's the facts in fact we'll click on that it has a countdown to the june 10th and 11th 2022 okay so that's more than a year from now uh where will it be held it will be held uh or when will it be held it'll be held friday june 10th saturday june 11th gates open at 2 30 on friday music starts at 3 p.m on saturday the gates open at 11 a.m early starter hey and the music kicks in before noon at 11 30 a.m so, mark your calendars for 2022, 20, a year from now. Oh my God. You know, some people just live in fear. Yeah, I guess, anyway. Well, all right, well, whatever. I say have a party. That's my idea. 2021 have it. We'll have to see how that plays out. I'm over here throwing out my two bits and it just doesn't even matter. So anyway, go to the website, tells you how you can get tickets, when you can start getting tickets. They, I think the tickets start becoming available uh, right after the first of the year in 2022. Start getting tickets. All right, well, let's just go to it and I'll see what it says. When can I purchase tickets? Tickets are available online. It says click here. Page not available. All right. Let's just go right back over here to the front where I was. Okay, truly not that interested in this particular subject going any further. So, all right, so they're going to mess up the 2021 season. Plan on next year. Moving to 
the big story of the day in this Dogecoin. I've had people getting a hold of me, asking me about it. Uh, I've told people, hey, it's cheap. Get in. Why not? And uh, I've saw it at four. I saw it at six. I saw it at 19. I saw it at 22. I've seen it at 26. I've seen it at 48. I've seen it at 67. I think that's the highest I've seen it go, 67. I was just sitting here watching this thing now for the last couple of weeks. So I'm fired. And it doesn't look like it's going to stop. I don't know. Some people are predicting that it's going to crash. You know, that's the same old song and dance. Is anytime you have one side that says this is going to happen, you'll have almost the complete opposite reaction happen from another side at some point crazy but just real quick just a quick description because i know that some people have wondered about it some people have heard about it some people haven't dogecoin is a cryptocurrency created by some software engineers who decided to create a payment system that is instant fun <laughs> and free from transact traditional banking fees dogecoin features the face of this dog okay yeah 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 so the bottom line is, is it's a vehicle for either handling money or in this case, investing and making some money. Uh, this isn't like if you go down to the bank and you say, hey, I got a paycheck here and they give you $500, let's say. And in a week, your $500 turns into $1,500 just because uh, of the way that the, the funds that you handle, the, the, let's call them fiat currency. Let's say you got a choice of either US cash, fiat currency, and Dogecoin or Bitcoin, and you decided to take Doge, your $500 would have turned into uh, probably a couple of thousand if you would have done this a couple of weeks ago. Now, so the question is, am I too late? The bottom line is, is that, uh, Elon Musk this weekend is going to be on Saturday Night Live and everybody's waiting with bated breath to see what happens when he gets up there if this thing goes higher if it goes lower what he says about it it is this is fantastic this is such an amazing thing the big wigs that handle Wall Street aren't controlling this thing and other um, forces are in favor besides them and i think that it's scaring people in the investment community considerably that used to have a handle on how things went um even the oracle of omaha retired this last week i think he gave up on it after the four years of trump <laughs> the summer of love and uh the introduction to crypto he's like i had enough now I've got to actually work. There's got to be some homework. People got to figure out what's happening. And there's a change coming. And that's exactly what's happening. It's washing out the old blood and pulling in the new. So if you're not staying up on what's happening, if you're not keeping up on what's going on, you better get your eyes open and pay attention to what's going on around you, like it or not. If you look at technology, it has won throughout history with an undefeated record. So I want you to fathom that. Technology has never lost. Hmm. Okay, so where should you bet your money? Isn't that funny? People bet against it. That's what's even crazier. So you're saying, okay, what does that mean? That means you need to live in the moment. You got to do the best you can with every minute, with every breath that God hands you. But you have to plan for the future. And planning for the future means that you have to pay attention to what's going on all around you, locally, nationally, on the world level. And some people aren't interested in that. And you can bury your head in the sand or you can pay attention and try to make your own discerning decisions but i don't say listen to the news and believe it all i'm saying pay attention to a lot of things that's going on around you 
it be in the investment community, if it happens to be with conflict in different parts of the geography on the planet or whatever. But pay attention. So, I mentioned earlier that we had something besides Doge that's been making headlines in the business news. O-A-T-L-Y, Oatly. It's a vegan stock that's coming public. Now, some people say, well, we want to get in on the ground floor. Well, when you have an IPO, initial public offering, that means that's when it's introduced to the market for the first time. I don't know how fresher you can get than that. And Oatly's uh, something that I've used in my coffee. I'm familiar with it in that regard. Um, I know people that put it in their cereal. I know people that just want to get out right. They have uh, different uses for it. But bottom line is, is that um, if you can't drink milk, if that's uh, something that that uh, is a problem for you, this is a great replacement. And now they're going public. So I'm just saying, pay attention. In fact, I'm not telling you to get involved with the stock market or not. I'm saying just watching what happens is important. You do whatever you want with your money or your time. That's up to you. I say with your time, go skiing. And I say with your money, buy ski tickets. What? (laughs) All right, moving on into world news. All right, let's check this out. Because world news, the cool thing about world news is this is for everybody, man. And everybody believes in peace, love, and treating your mother right. And it's Mother's Day weekend make sure that you're doing something if your mom you know wasn't like uh, throwing you in the ditch for being a bad kid not letting you back in the house or whatever and you have a, a relationship with your mother this is the weekend that you can tell her that you love her I know that some people growing up have had a hard time doing that with their parents this is a great excuse a great reason Say, hey, mom, mom, hey, mom, I love you. I love you, hey. <laughs> you know, throw her a... I've seen some, like, some liquor commercials that I think it's so funny. It cracks me up. And uh, homeboy's walking down the road with a bottle of beam, and he's, uh, Throwing the peace sign at his boys, walking past like a barber shop. He's like, nah, man, I'm not stopping here. And that's the idea. He didn't say that in the commercial, though. He's like, you know, hits his boys with a peace sign as he walks by the barber shop. And he goes by the newsstand. And I think he picks up a newspaper, you know, right? So as the commercial ends, he ends up laundering on over to his mother's house. And he's pouring them on the rocks in these beautiful glasses probably a two ounce shot of beer yeah happy mother's day Bob I think that's just so funny now I on the other hand have a little more subtle response to mother's day where's the skiing at okay so check this out Mammoth Mountain over in the Sierra Nevada is off the 395 Highway. 395 Highway. That's between Palm Springs and South Lake Tahoe. So if you want, well, okay, Victorville, but technically. So bottom line is is that it, if you head south of South Lake Tahoe on the 395, you'll run into Bishop, California. See Bishop, you're right next to the towering peaks of Mammoth Mountain. The other place that the West has its open and they're on weekends only. Mind you, Snowbird. 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 Yeah. Snowbird. Right next to Alta. Alta's, okay, get a load of this. I didn't realize this. I was watching some YouTube videos. And Alta is all skiing. 
No snowboards. What? You just... Did I drop the mic on that one? Can you believe it? No snowboarding. I gotta go see what that's about next season. I... I, I said, what? No snowboarders? Not even a little train park? Nothing like that? No lessons? At Alta? That's news, man. To me, that's news. Because, like, I have a friend of mine, Easy E, Eric Keating, the ATM1 fame, that can't stand snowboarders. On the hill, off the hill, looking at them, the boards, the bindings, he's jealous of them. Not having to use poles. I mean, it goes against all of his good senses as far as skiing goes. And this guy is one of the best skiers I know. Him and Mad Dog Mikey Avalar. Those two guys, they, uh, they're the two best skiers I know. And then maybe, um, and then yeah, you're saying, what about you, dude? <laughs> like, <laughs> I rank in the top million talking about these guys are good i don't rock like that i just follow in their tracks that's what they call me frankie tracks when i'm on the hill with them two boys you guys ski like maniacs i'll just follow behind you holding on best i can okay elon musk on saturday night live now listen to this because this is a fantastic pairing i gotta hand it to whoever's coordinating this this is the kind of move that i think I wouldn't have thought of it, frankly, and I'm and I think this all the time, but I didn't think of this. Elon Musk is on there with Miley Cyrus, like they didn't pair him up with some like uh, Robert De Niro or whatever, you know. Uh, you should be walking, you know, like Christopher Walken or somebody like old. They paired him up with somebody young, and he's kind of a young guy, and he's a young thinker, and he has a young crowd and a lot of young people behind him. A lot of people that believe in his ideas, I think, fall into that, you know, 12 plus category. So anyway, it might be worth watching NBC Saturday Night Live, the Elon Musk show. Some other places to ski on Mother's Day. And it looks like they're going to be open for another couple weeks is moving out of Snowbird and into Colorado. Brack, 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 brack in Ridge. Yeah, you heard it right here from me. Frank Diddy. Breckenridge. I love Breckenridge. Me and my daughter and my mom, in fact, one summer were boogieing through Breckenridge and they have a Bubba Gump's shrimp company. And if you ask my daughter, where do we eat? She'll say it depends. If we're on the road and there's a Bubba Gumps, we eat a Bubba Gumps. And then I don't know what else she says besides that, but that's the one thing I know she will say. So Breckenridge is still making turns on a limited ski mountain and moving down to A Basin. It looks like A Basin is going to try to stay open past Memorial Day. Maybe into mid-June. Depending on how these storms roll in. Frankly, it looks like this weekend we're going to lose a lot of snow because it's going to be blue skies, blue skiing, no pal anywhere in the West. So I don't know what to tell you about all that. Like Mother's Day on, I'm, I'm sad to say I think we're going to be losing quite a bit of uh, what we've had given to us. If we can get in the next, let's say, three, four, five days, a nice dump, um, it will save the season to end on a high note. But if not, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, I hate to bring the bad news to you. But as we move on, I thought what we would do, talk about the U.S. ski team that's up in Mammoth. Because... Here's what I put together as a conclusion, because I also want to move right into 
working out in the off season and they're training. US ski team is in Mammoth. If they're training up there, that must mean that they've got snow that's worth skiing on for right now. And that was my particular deductive reasoning for why Mammoth must have some pretty good snow. Because I also saw this great pump that Breckenridge just got and A Basin just got. And ow, it, it must that must be some good skiing over there right now. Though well I'll have to keep you posted. Working out in the off season, I think this is very important that we talk about this because a lot of times people fall into a mode of comfortability and it is something that they can procrastinate. Don't. Get right into the gym. Move right from one season into the next. If you need to take a week off or a couple weeks off, okay, but plan that. Don't just say, I'm gonna take a couple weeks off and then get hooked up with some Hulu or some uh, HBO Max and forget about it. And next thing you know, Thanksgiving's here and you're like, man, I wish I would've gotten into the gym and done some push-ups, some sit-ups, some pull-ups, some squats, some bench presses, some lat pull-downs, some curls, some triceps, some shoulders. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna help you organize it real quick. This is, you can either do this routine once a week or twice a week. If you do it once a week, it's a three day a week workout with four days off. I know you're thinking, oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, if you can just get into the gym three days a week, the rest of it will start to roll and you'll start moving in maybe four days or five days because you won't want to take a day off. Well, anyway, let's not move too fast. So you can either do it twice or once during the course of a seven day period. If you do it twice, give yourself one day off, either in between the two workouts or on the pivotal ends of the workout, meaning you start and you come in and you do chest and tries, back and binds, shoulders and legs, break, or not. But if you don't take a break, you have to take a break at the end of the sixth workout. Let's take day seven off, and if you're doing Monday through Sunday, that means Sunday you don't work out. Monday you come back in and hit it hard, chest and tries. Tuesday, back and buys. Wednesday, shoulders and legs. No skip. Thursday, chest and tries. Friday, back and buys. Saturday, shoulders and legs. That's your workout. You say, well, what, what should I do for chest? What should I do for tries? back what should I do for advice go into the gym and see what you want to do if you have a gym that has any quality they're gonna have five or six different machines to do 15 or 20 different routines on now I'm getting a little too sophisticated just go to the gym and just do one chest exercise, whatever it is. If it's push-ups, if it's bench press, if you happen to go to the pec deck or whatever. And then the triceps, if you do overhead tries, if you do skull crushers, or if you do pull-downs, tricep pull-downs, or if you do close grip push-ups. Some people don't like to work out with weights. So you say, okay, well, what about back? Do pull-ups? You ever heard of pull-ups? Amazing back exercise. You can do military press. You can do laterals with the dumbbells. As far as biceps go, pick up a dumbbell and curl it. Pick up a bar and curl it. Get the lat pull down and curl it. That's what the biceps are, is the, the muscle that's here anytime that you curl or have a pulling reaction into the body. Shoulders. Military press. I guess I messed, put that into the back. Legs. Squats, leg extensions, leg curls. You could go climb a mountain. Whatever gets your legs in shape 
I recommend doing all kinds of things. Sprints, doing karaoke, running backwards. But running forward as fast as you can and then doing bench jumps and using the bench to jump on top of it, touch, jump back down. Also helps with the abs. On your in-between day is the day you do calf raises, abs, lower back work. You stretch like a mug. Yeah, everything that you don't do on those days, you do on that seventh day. So getting into the gym seven days a week is what I recommend in the off season. Because when you're skiing, sometimes if it's Thanksgiving, if it's Christmas, if it's MLK weekend, if it's Valentine's, if it's spring break, if it's Easter, National Beer Day. Also, we did a podcast on National Beer Day. You got to go check that out. That was a great podcast. Check it out. National Beer Day. And these types of weeks that include the, the, the celebrations that these weeks will incur, these days will incur, uh, will sometimes sap the opportunity for you to get into the gym. And when that happens, it's okay because you've already done an entire summer and fall or late spring, summer and fall of working out and keep it in shape. So I'm right there with you. I'm ready to get in the gym and start hitting it hard. Live in the moment and plan for the future. Nothing wrong with both of those. They also take creative thinking. When you're just sitting there idly watching the beautiful sunsets that you get or the mountain plateaus that you can see from the elevations that you ski at. Wow, what an experience. What a great sport skiing is. Hey, listen, if you're getting some value from this, hit the subscribe button. I just want to reach out real quick and say thanks. We've got some people that really help put this together. We also have had YouTube helping us with the videos. And Apple iTunes has been putting this out into a podcast format as well. The YouTube people help us with the video podcast and the ski videos, but Apple is the uh, is the podcast guys, along with Anchor and Spotify. Great, great platforms to be on. Overcast, Breaker. We have Pocket Cast, Radio Public. We'd love to have you. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe to the button. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're on YouTube. We'd appreciate it. But moving on, we've got some music news, and you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, we've got a music list here that is just too much, and I told you on the music list that the top song was from The Matrix, so Starting with number five, it is probably the first British rap song that comes out, and the group's name is Stereo MC, and it's called Connected. And uh, the uh, Stereo MCs were a British alternative hip hop electronic dance group founded by bro- vocalist Rob Birch and Nick the Head Harlem in the mid 80s. It took a while for a bunch of Brits to take to be taken seriously in the hip hop community, but they made some inroads in the 90s with a couple of albums. Anyway, on their third album, Connected, which went platinum in the UK, uh, it was on the top 10 for nearly a year. This song came out, and when you hear it, it's kind of fun, and it's, it's, it's a great ski song. So check that out. Number four. Tall Beckman. She's so high. And when you hear this song, you're going to... I don't know. it's, It's just like it's a cool... Like ski love song. I don't know. 
Um, lyrically, the song is a graphic depiction of Tove Lowe's. Uh, I mean, I'm not Tove Lowe's, but Tal Beckman's idea of what love is. And the. Uh, he talks about how she's so high. Like. Aphrodite But She's so high High above me Like Cleopatra Check it out Throw that on your music list Number three Now this one By Tantric T-A-N-T-R-I-C Is called Morning song that has this great deep voice and they sing like this guy is just as practical and as pragmatic as you can imagine like he just doesn't bs himself about love and he kind of puts it out there to her in this real loving way but it's real subtle uh it's such a great song anyway i threw it on the list because it stalls falls into the genre mix here and it's one of my favorite all-time songs for show. now Tove Low I'm sorry Tove Low song called Habits and um, the, as far as this song Habit went it's um, a song about this chick trying to get over her ex and it happened in my habit isn't to go into sex clubs, but I have. Some people have a problem with me portraying that ugliness, but that's only the way I write, is what she said, the Swedish singer. Um, it's kind of a trippy song, and the remix is even better. So, T-O-V-E-L-O. The song is called Habits. Check that out. And the top song from the movie The Matrix. No, I'm sorry. The Matrix Reloaded. The Matrix Reloaded. The song's called Sleeping Awake by P.O.D. The song is such a crazy song um it's also known as sleeping away but it's called sleeping awake and it's the lead song off of the matrix album the film soundtrack was released in may of 2003 by warner brothers records and maverick records with the single itself available on may 26th the u.s edition only includes the title track with the australian released on January 3rd includes the video and two more songs. So the song's video and lyrics directly implied, inspired by the Matrix Reloaded, the chorus features the line, Dreaming of Zion, which refers to the last human city on the planet Earth as depicted in the film. You gotta hear this song. This song just rocks. Oh my gosh. So, P.O.D. Sleeping Awake. That's what we have cooking here. What a great show. We have some upcoming shows I wanted to tell you about. We're going to do our greatest hits. Video greatest hits. The people that we met on the hill. The people that we talked to that we got some footage with. We're going to put those all together. And we're going to talk about them. We're going to show them. Man, we met some great people this season. And I got to tell you, thanks to everybody that liked the podcast, anybody that commented. I've got a chick. I think it's a chick. I don't know. It's on, named Doritos. I thought that was the coolest name. Doritos. Anyway, so I've got some people subscribing to the channel. It's off the hook. The Facebook posts are off the hook. Instagram, off the hook. What else? Tumblr off the hook. Twitter off the hook. 
Oh, and then TikTok. I'm rocking the TikTok, Jack. Oh, man. Boom. Hitting TikTok like I own it. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So tune in. Open up your eyes. Pay attention a little bit. And go out and do something yourself. Go hiking. Go do some push-ups. Go take some vitamins. Start eating better. Put that crap down. Quit drinking. Quit smoking. Go work out. Use that membership you've been paying for. Golf in Arizona. We have a show that we're going to talk about some of the nice spots to go play some golf this summer. Maybe even take the camera on location. What is Gen X? What is Gen Z? What's Gen Y? What's a millennial? We're going to help clear up some of the confusion that goes along with that. Some of my older listeners, they're not sure what all that means. Hotels off of Route 66. That's right. We're going to go on the road for a little bit. And when we do, we're going to check out a couple places. And lastly, Beijing Olympics 2022. My girl Michaela Sheffrin's getting ready. She's training. February 4th to the 20th is the Beijing Winter Olympics. So if you've listened this far, I want to tell you thanks. I appreciate you being part of the show. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If not, we just want to tell you thanks for being part of Ice Ski with Frankie Z. We hope to see you again. We hope to see you out on the hill. And if you ever come up and see me, throw me a peace sign and say, What's up, Pimp Daddy? And I'll always hit you back with the what's up. I ski with Frankie Z. All right, people, we're out. Thank you. Thanks again. Man, that was a great show. Dreaming of Zion away. Sleeping away. Dreaming of Zion away. Can't stop dreaming. Can you hear what I hear? Can you feel what I feel? Can you hear what I see? Can you... Gotta get the lyrics on that one. Now. That Dogecoin, since we started taping till now, went from 63 and some change to 65 and some change. I don't know what that means, but anyway, pay attention. This thing's worth looking at anyway. All right, happy Mother's Day, and thanks for listening, you too. Love this thing. (laughs) Woo! Love this thing.